Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all safe and well. Today's walk is going to be at the Stockgrove County Park, which is connected to the Rushmere County Park. In fact, they're all one park, but we'll just do one part of it today. And today's guest is Neris, my wife, and she's going to enjoy the walk with us and she'll be able to tell you a little bit as we go. So I'll introduce you to her in a few moments. Hi guys, um, well as Gavin said, I'm Neris and I'm coming on one of the walks today. Looking forward to it, I thought you can't go without me so I'm joining in today. Looking forward to uh, the views, I've been to this park many a times um, and it's going to be great fun isn't it? Yeah, looking forward to it, should be good. Well, we've just got in the time and um, the car park is chug a block and it's full now so good job we got here when we did yeah because there's nowhere else to go no, is there nowhere just, to park yeah um it's three pound all day as you've seen from the sign um which is great so you can just spend your whole day here and enjoy it so which, it's great fun great stuff Hopefully you can see this map a little bit better. So we're parked here, and we're gonna follow this pink route all the way around, going past the sundial, which we'll film, and then we'll come back into the Rushmere Park section, down along the middle road here, come back round, all the way around here, back to the boating lake, and back round the Baker's Wood, coming round here to where we started. Coming up towards the sundial, but we just wanted to show you this little little view from here. Different colours are beautiful. We're at the Stockgrove Sundial, and Neris is going to now demonstrate how it works. Oh, you can't see your shadow. I'd say maybe because there's no sun at all. And this is the sundial. It does work, but when the sun's out, and that's the problem with sundials, you see. No good if there's no sun, is there? Time is it 11:40? So we're in between. In between. So that's where the sun would be. It would open. My shadow would be that way. 
Guess what? We just leave the sundial. The sun comes out. Typical. Crazy. Typical. <laughs> so we just saw a little girl climbing up trees just a few moments ago. Pretty little thing. Yeah. And she's talking to Neris. What did she say to you? She's saying about climbing the trees. Can you watch me? Can you watch me? So we had to stand there five minutes out of our time and watch her. She's a cutie. She was a cutie. But what did she say if you climbed on the tree? Uh, no, if we both climbed on the tree, she said we'd break it. Harsh. Yeah, harsh. Harsh. Um, by the way, excuse my hair. This is my trademark, my wispy bits. Everyone who knows me, I always have wispy bits. Getting a little bit muddier now, but it's okay. It's okay. We can, we can get through this, can't we? Yep. Coming out over the ridge line now. We're not sure where to go next, so knowing the way things go with us, we will get lost. And we're on, we're actually in a quandary, don't really know which way we're going now, so. We have chosen wisely and taken the correct path. So this is the downhill zone ridge riders at Rushmere. We have just spoken to a bloke and he said that it cost him £40 for the car park permit and that gives you this as well, so you could partake in this as well. He said it's really good, um, very tricky, it's worth giving a go. Look at the colour of this tree, it's all red at the bottom and it starts to change colour as it goes up. long night's been here. There's like little dens all the way through here where no doubt the volunteers have put them up for the great fun for kids to hide and play. Is it a fee fi fo fum moment? It is. We've got the book next 
to it. And what, what, what do you smell the blood of the what? Englishman. Englishman. Look at the size of that chair. Fantastic. Today I'm going to read you a story. The Bardic Big Book. Come a little bit closer, children. <laughs> That's scary. At this point we go downhill towards Heath and Reach and we'll show you that when we get down there. stop for lunch it's good it's lovely and we're enjoying it and about to enjoy our sandwiches which is what our ham sandwiches <laughs> and ham, ham and cucumber sandwiches so we're looking forward to enjoying that and then we're going to show you around part of Heath and Reach and Stop Grove so Gavin I brought you some refreshments cool Mmm. Diet Coke. You're out of water. I found this in the fridge. Orange infused IPA. So I get a can of Coke and you get you get yourself an alcoholic beverage. I need it. it needs to keep me going. Go on then, tell us what it's like. Oh, hear that. Ooh, it's not a tame can then. No, that sound is bliss. <sighs> drive by. You're going to do drive by? Ooh, ooh, oranges. Oh, it's very strong actually, very strong smell, very nice. Where did you get that from? Got it from Aldi. At the moment it's on offer. It's really good. So, ah, this is very tame. No life in it whatsoever. Diet Coke. And, um, yeah, it smells like Diet Coke. From Asda. just discovered these mini cookies which taste like the more expensive mini cookies and there's about six or seven in a packet but I like them if I can open the packet there we go don't want to drop this precious cargo do I mmm well, we're gonna walk back towards the boathouse which we'll show you in a few moments She's still drinking. Got every last drop, have you? Well, 
Oh, the sun's coming out. Look at that. Just completely changes things when the sun comes out and goes back in. wonder who lives in there. So we sort of wonder how long these trees have been here. Well now we know. Since the 1930s. the boathouse or the remains of it you can see a picture of it here on the right hand side and it was 1928 ish when this was built but unfortunately it's no longer here in its full guise but it's a very popular area where a lot of people come and stand and take photos and it's really you know quite picturesque just a shame the actual buildings now long gone the, um the thatched roof of the boathouse was destroyed in a fire in the 1960s. I don't know if you knew that, Gary. Oh. Um, so this is all that remains the structure, which is the brick arch and the base. is the Baker's Woods entrance but we won't be going in there ourselves because there's so many different walks uh, it would take us all day but of special scientific interest this is a multi-stem oak tree So what has been your highlight so far? All of it and spending time with you. So yes, it's been a really good time. <laughs> um, we would have filmed a lot more if we could, but the place is extremely busy. And of course we don't want to film people without their permission. So we hope that you've got a little bit of an idea of what this place is like. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and put a thumbs up if you can and please leave a comment. We'd appreciate that, that would help the channel to grow. So we're going to reward ourselves with a nice, well I'm getting a cappuccino, what are you getting Eris? Yeah, probably cappuccino. Yeah, can't wait.
lovely. Now it's trying not to fall over whilst balancing our prized possession. So we rewarded ourselves with these lovely chocolate cappuccinos, which during lockdown are very hard to get hold of. So we were very pleased to be able to get one. It's nice. It's good. Mm. Very nice. And we've sneaked in some contraband. Kit Kat. For the end of our journey. There be the signs. Private land, no public right of way. Get off my land. Get off my land. What, what are you supposed to be? I'm an owl. Sounds like a pigeon. Face mask, who would have bought it? Balance. Yeah, yeah, got this lift now. I think it's because I'm getting older. Whoa! 